Hi, and welcome to Round Robin. I am not Robin McCormick. I'm Mike Holtzclaw. I'm filling in today and with us to talk about Hampton Restaurant Week. We have Irina from Poor Girls, mm -hmm. and we have Charlie from Frank's Monster Munchies. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank you for having us. So uh, first off, if each of you could tell me what, uh, what makes you want to participate in Restaurant Week and come up with the discounts that, uh, that everyone gets for not just one week, but two weeks. Well, I think it's a great opportunity to um, not only advertise your restaurant, kind of bring the community together that everybody can uh, come and try different stuff. But what I like about it, it's not only the weekend special. Uh, every weekend at the restaurant, we run specials. And we work really hard on advertising them. We work really hard on creating something new, come up with the new ideas. But not always people can make it that one weekend. Something comes up or something else. So to have a restaurant week, and not only, like you said, one week, but two weeks, it's a great opportunity for people like, oh, I can make it on the weekend, but I can stop by for lunch on Monday and I can go there to, for dinner on Thursday. So that's a great way to kind of, you know, expand that specials and show people your creativity and show what else you can do. Um, and I think it's a great opportunity to advertise your restaurant and the show what the Hampton is all about. Charlie, how about you? I know uh, Frank's Monster Munchies has been a popular food truck for several years, but less than a year uh, as brick and mortar. Is this a good way to introduce your uh, your storefront place to new people? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we're still in a lot of the, the growing stages with our restaurant. Uh, we don't do the food truck thing anymore. That was just a step to get into this direction of opening the cantina. But um, yeah, we've been open for 11 months, and uh, Restaurant Week gives us a great opportunity to help feature and highlight us along with other great restaurants in Hampton, um, not only just for the specials, but for people to, to kind of just be able to realize where we're located, because we're kind of tucked away in a shopping center, um, in Tide Mill uh, Center, and it, um, it we, you know, this is the beginning of Restaurant Week right now for the first of two weeks. Um, and we already had uh, really, you know, full lunches and dinners and stuff. So it's uh, working great. I'm glad to see new customers coming in. And it's definitely going to help us grow and maybe stick around a while. So in Restaurant Week, we'll run through March 17. Mm -hmm. You mentioned new customers. And I was going to ask each of you. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you're paying attention to it. Uh, to what extent is Restaurant Week bringing in new people saying, I've never tried Poor Girls, I've never tried Frank's Monster Munchies, and Restaurant Week is an opportunity to come someplace I haven't been before, as opposed to regular customers saying, this is one more excuse to come to my favorite place. Uh, it w we'll definitely have a lot of regulars that are excited about it. However, we do get a lot of new people, and not only from Hampton. Uh, the social media, the uh, city of Hampton, and doing a great job advertising. So we get a lot of people from Newport News, from Norfolk, uh, coming over here to try new stuff. And everybody's excited, sharing it, uh, pictures, sharing the posts. So we've been seeing a lot, even within this first few days of the restaurant week, we've been seeing a lot more new faces and feedbacks and um, reviews about the food. That's great. Uh, for us, we're always seeing new faces because, like I said, we're just in the beginning stages and we get a lot of returning customers and, you know, we're getting just a lot of new faces. And with everybody that comes in, uh, if it's people that have been there before, a lot of times we recognize them um, and we always ask our customers, how'd you hear about us? So we can continue to help grow and um, see what ways people are, are seeing us. Uh, Restaurant Week uh, is a great opportunity. It's not just about the specials, because really people don't, uh, I know for us, we've had a few people get the specials and stuff like that, but for them, once they came in the restaurant and looked over the menu, you know, they're choosing other things, or, you know, we had a couple last night that they, chose the, the spe both the special, but you know, one of each type of burrito and the starters, you know, the appetizers and everything and stuff. So they tried a lot of options. So it's just a, a good opportunity just to highlight local businesses, not just, you know, chain restaurants. 
And that's obviously a big thing about Restaurant Week. You're offering specific lunch and dinner specials, but it's getting people in the door. Mm -hmm. It's getting them in the door and they can look at the menu and maybe, like you said, they order something other than the special. But even if they get the special, they're looking at the menu and thinking, ooh. Taking notes. I'm going to come back next time and and, and get that. Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to ask you guys, uh, Charlie, if you want to go first, tell me what the specials are that you guys are offering. The uh, concept of restaurant week, of course, is cheap uh, discounted lunch and dinner specials. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell us a little bit about what Frank's Monster Munchies is offering for the next two weeks. Well, we, we, you know, my thing is, is I always try to aim to have lower prices um, to make things affordable for a lot of families because Lord knows the economy right now is really expensive. And uh, so our discounts uh, for our lunch is $10 and stuff. And then we did a $25 dinner special. Uh, for the lunch special, we have our General Tso's chicken and waffle cone with fries, which is something that I created. Um, it's boneless chicken wings tossed in General so sauce and a t- tucked into a warm waffle cone. With uh, we, we serve boardwalk fries. We take pride in our fries. and. Uh, we have that. Um, we have our carne asada fries, which is a West Coast favorite. Uh, we have a lot of people that are stationed out here with the military, and they miss that West Coast food. And that's what we're here to deliver, is that taste of Southern California. And so um, alongside of, uh, with like dinner specials, we have um, the your choice of uh, appetizer, whether it's uh, elote in the cup, which is the Mexican street corn, or our rolled chicken taquitos. Um, and then your choice of either the Triple OG uh, burrito or the California burrito. There's a lot of details into what goes inside those burritos and stuff. It won't take too much time given the ingredients. Tell all your secrets. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but also we offer churros uh, with the the special. Um, and then you know people are taking advantage of these things. You know the churros are awesome. You got four flavors to choose from. And we were talking about this before. Uh, Frank's Monster Munchies, you made your name with Mexican-style food, but you have a lot more than that now. You, you uh, have got a pretty good variety on the menu. Yeah, that was our whole concept when we started, is that um, I'm not Mexican. I was born and raised in San Diego. I was uh, raised with my mother. My, my, my mom's side is the Mexican side, so my mother, grandmother, and aunts and uncles all kind of taught me how to cook. Um, so out here, Mexican food isn't really what I grew up with, and a lot of people don't know. You know, Southern California has its own taste, and so we we offer a real marinated carne asada. Um, but also, I just didn't want to give it a the name of our our company a, a Mexican name because I wanted to offer more than that. So we have burgers, we have wings, we have. Um, sliders and chicken tenders, you know, we have a wide variety of food, so we want to be able to feed everybody. Even if they have special allergies, we're going to figure out a way. You mentioned the name, we might as well ask. Your name is not Frank. (laughs) Why is it Frank's Monster Munchies? Who is it named for? Uh, Well, I'm a fan of Frankenstein, and so Frankenstein's like our mascot, Frankenstein and Brighter Frankenstein. Our logo's changed three times since the starting of the company. And uh, the logo that we have now is the one is, that's going to stick around. It really represents uh, me and my wife. Um, but it's just, you know, like that all-American diner type thing. It's Frank's, you know, Frank's Monster Munchies Cantina. So uh, you definitely get bang for your buck. People always leave them with, with you know, take-home doggy bags and stuff like that. So um, People are really enjoying the experience. That's so we great. tell people, we're, we're not ashamed to show. We tell people, Google us, look at our reviews. We stand at a 4.9 with over 200 reviews. And um, we're just looking to continue to grow and stick around. My wife is born and raised here in Buckrow. And um, we're, I'm happy to be a part of this community. Um, I've went to 13 different schools in my life. So Hampton, this allows me to plant roots. And I'm happy to be here. That's great. 
Thank you. Irina, talk a little bit about the specials that Poor Girls is offering. So we are offering $15 lunch and $35 uh, dollars, uh, three course dinner. Uh, for lunch, we're featuring our she crab soup, as well as the, you can choose the Caesar salad or house salad. Uh, the main course for the lunch is actually pretty exciting. It's our Lombo crab meat uh, uh, sliders. And we're very proud of our crab cakes, as well as our crab dip. Um, like I said, it's nothing but a lump crab meat. It, not much feeling, so it's really, really good. And the other thing which we're featuring is the for people that not much into seafood, we have a New York strip sandwich mm. with the uh, basil aioli, onion jam, uh, lettuce, tomato, provolone cheese on the um, ciabatta bread. So, like I said, then you have a choice of seafood, non seafood, um, and for dinner, uh, one of the really exciting one is the uh, sushi pasta. So it's uh, uh, rice noodles that we made with the edible flowers in, the, um, in our kitchen with a uh, fresh uh, tuna and then as well as the crab cake stuffed salmon with the uh, lemon uh, capers, aioli. Then we also have the Dijon chicken. Like I said, trying to kind of like give an option for people that do like seafood, but obviously not everybody can do that. So we have chicken, we have salmon, we have New York strip, we have crab cakes, um, as well as our uh, beer batter cheesecake made in a house. So that one is amazing and delicious. So talk a little bit about that cheesecake. Oh my God, my chef Ajan. Uh, Want to shout out her happy birthday today. Uh, she's an amazing chef, and this is her uh, family recipe. Um, it's very light and fluffy with uh, just a touch of the marshmallow puff on top. Like I said, it's just really good. So I can't really describe, you have to come and try it. Now where does the beer work into it? Is that in the crust? Uh, into the uh, cheesecake. Into the itself. actual batter, mm -hmm. wow. So I it's a beer batter a cheesecake. Taste. It's amazing. Now, Poor Girls is downtown and we were talking beforehand, it seems to me like only yesterday that you guys moved into the space that used to be the tap house. Mm -hmm. Tell me what uh, you guys have worked to make your, the feel of Poor Girls. The, what, what should people expect when they come to Poor Girls? Well, we're about to celebrate uh, six years uh, and just end of this year. Um, it's been a work, so you kind of like working with the general public, you're trying to cater kind of to everyone. So on our menu, we have um, a lot of seafood, but non-seafood options. We have burgers, we have pastas, we have crab cakes, we have crab legs, uh, as well as the wings and nachos. So it's a really big variety of different food pretty much for everyone. We run different specials every night. We have our tapas and bourbon on Monday. We have taco Tuesday and margaritas on Tuesday. We have seafood on Wednesday, oysters and shrimp and trivia night on Thursday. So kind of like trying to get a little bit of everything for everyone. Our brunches became a really big thing. So uh, we have brunch on Saturday and Sunday, full menu. And uh, since they got really popular and big demand, so we decided to run a limited brunch menu Monday through Friday as well. So our gumbo grits and shrimp and grits on the weekends, a huge popular thing. So um, as well as the just breakfast tacos or our regular tacos. We have shrimp tacos. Uh, we have, not trying to steal oh. Mexican, but it's <laughs> hey. definitely not. Mm. It's a little bit more like American um, cuisine than uh, Mexican and stuff. So uh, we have, like I said, a little bit of everything. Um, and we actually trying to launch a new menu by the end of this month. Mm. So we're adding a, uh, the New York strip sandwich to our menu. We're adding a few more new pastas to our menu, um, as well as a few new appetizers. So you definitely don't want to miss it out and come check us out. Um, like I said, we have a little bit for everybody. And that's going to be, you're hoping, by the end of the month? Yes. Um, it's pretty much actively working. We just have to order menus, and we're ready for everyone. And, of course, Poor Girls, it's a great, uh, the place looks great. Thank it's, you. It's a neat place to 
Thank sit you. and have dinner. We actually are uh, in the process of a little bit of remodeling, you know, trying to freshen up, and it's been five and a half years since we opened. Um, as well as downstairs dining, we have upstairs seating, which is uh, actually way larger than our downstairs. So we've been having a lot of rehearsal dinners. We've been having a lot of weddings, mm. uh, actual weddings. So people married upstairs, the four girls. Uh, we have baby showers and rehearsal dinners. So that's uh, another kind of venue that we go in with at Borgals, not just the restaurant that you can come and sit down and have dinner, breakfast, lunch, uh, cocktail, but if you have any special events, uh, we have a private upstairs space for anybody that looking to, to do something like that. Soon enough, the weather is going to be nice. We're going to have the downtown Hampton Block Party again. People can come out, eat on the patio. Yes, we are definitely excited for the better weather. Uh, we have an amazing um, outdoor seating, uh, thankfully for Hampton uh, City that provided that for us. Um, excited for all the fun festivals. Blackbeard Festival is just in the first weekend of June, I believe. And then a black, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the block parties, the block party. and I'm sure there's going to be more music, uh, live music in downtown Hampton in general. And I feel like when it, the weather is nice, people are just happier and more excited to go out and dining or experience just walking down the Hampton, uh, downtown Hampton. So we're excited for the better weather for outdoor seating. Last thing I want to ask uh, each of you, and you kind of mentioned this, but it's another one of the great things about Restaurant Week is it gets people into local, unique, locally owned restaurants and bars and whatever, instead of going to chain restaurants that they have in every city in the United States. There's one Poor Girls. There's one Frank's Monster Munchies. Why is that such uh, a cool thing for diners? I think uh, supporting local business and your local people that, like we talked about earlier, uh, Charlie's wife has been here, uh, born and raised. Uh, Hampton became my family and home for now 13, 14 years, and I absolutely love to be here, absolutely love to be part of this community. Um, and it's just wonderful to support each other, wonderful to uh, go and spend time with the friends at the local restaurant that you some way either friends or you're related or you became friends and family. Uh, I'm from Ukraine, so I don't have any family here. Um, and then in just a short 13 years being here, uh, Hampton, my regulars, my employees, my customers became my family and friends. So and this is the part of that local restaurants, local uh, people that became friends and family and support each other. Um, I mean, exactly like she said, uh, it's, it's great to support local restaurants, local mom and pops, family owned restaurants. Um, our customers do become our family and friends. Um, I can completely understand what she says, uh, you know, because Hampton's a tight knit community. Everybody seems to know each other. And, you know, it's, it's good to be uh, in the in crowd, being for coming as an outsider. Um, so, and for me, I, I'm set, set a little off course from Phoebus or, you know, you know, in Old Town Phoebus and, and downtown Hampton. They have a huge array of restaurants there. And Queen Street, they're, they're known. You have a lot of great restaurants right down there. So we're just up by Langley Air Force Base. So it's just, uh, um, I like being in a community where I'm starting to know everybody. And I care about what, what exactly goes on here. So. And I think another great thing about local restaurants or small businesses, small restaurants, but it doesn't have to be a restaurant that we actually involve daily. It's you go in every morning, you open that door first person in the morning, and a lot of times you're the last person leaving the building. Um, you constantly there, you sacrifice your time with your children, you sacrifice time with your friends and family because you want to build something, say so this is your heart and soul that you're putting into this restaurant that you run in. So you probably mm -hmm. agree that you, you wash dishes, you cook, you clean, you do everything. So this becomes your baby. 
the one more thing I would add as, as a customer is, and nothing against the chain restaurants, but if you eat at a chain restaurant in Hampton and then you drive to Richmond, you eat at the same chain restaurant and then you drive to DC, you're gonna get the same meal. And it's a fine meal, but you're gonna get the same meal. When you go to Poor Girls, when you go to Frank's Monster Munchies, you're getting things that you can't get anywhere else. There, there are menu items that you guys have that you created and familiar menu items that you guys have that you do differently than any other restaurant. And so when you go to one of these local restaurants, you're getting something unique. Mm -hmm. And that's a great experience. Definitely. So Hampton Restaurant Week runs through the 17th. More than a dozen restaurants are participating, including Frank's Monster Munchies on North Armistead and Poor Girls Downtown. And if you go to Poor Girls, congratulate Irina. She is a recent new American citizen. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So, Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, this has been Round Robin. Thank you so much for watching.